when you've lost everything, it's just about getting on with life and taking a risk. woke up, I don't remember what day it was. I just know I couldn't speak. My first word was, hi, I think that's what I said to mum and dad. I felt like I was trying to grasp for air because that was my first breath since the accident. I suppose as well as like, you know, being a baby, being born and having the first scream, that was my first scream. back to old Alex, loud, colourful, motivated, fit. I saw life as just, you gotta live in the moment. After my car accident, I didn't have the concept I was badly injured. I not realised my speech had changed, my memory had changed, you know, my physical strength had changed. Because my accident was so severe, I shouldn't even be walking. I was told by doctors, you shouldn't even be alive. Even though there was a broken neck and a brain injury, there was no signs. Despite having a disability, I don't want people to see she's actually got a quiet brain injury. She's not right, because that's the similar attached to it. The more I was told by health professionals, you may never walk in, it was like, nah, fuck that, I'm going to walk, then I'm going to run. to come to the Paralympics. Eventually then maybe become the next Australian top athlete. I want to be fit and healthy and I think if I stop, I won't have the chance of being the best. When I have dark moments, I have to think. I had a car accident. I survived. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Going into the water, putting my head under, I forget all the noise and all the distractions that's going on with life. There's a reason why I've survived and I can see why now. It was to tell my story and not to give up and to help others with disability. There's days where I go, I wish I'd just died, but if I died, I wouldn't need to experience life. 